guys, I want to share with you how my guest bedroom is looking like. It is Madhogosh, right? And don't worry about this, guys. The makeover is about to begin. Let me give you a tiny tour of how it's looking. So when you stand here, or oh, this is the door that leads to my living area. And then over here is just a few things. And don't worry about this basket here. This basket here, I'm collecting stuff for my little sister, my little whatever i'm any i'm collecting things for them so that when i go to gishagi i can give them everything there and then this nini these ones are for my parents this lotion shower gels and everything but yeah that is how that place is looking like and then over here i have my vases i just need to get plants and then this is like my small office area i have a lampshade over here this is my laptop that is 10 or oh, 11 years old and then this is my audio wherever that is in here these are my pens uh, my mantra over there don't quit just do it and then here i was supposed to actually organize you see all these pillows down here i'm supposed like to lay this over there and put the pillows back and then i have that any uh, art that i had in my previous bedroom go over there and then all these are metals that i can actually use in this house projects but i'm just holding on because i i'm not yet sure what i want to do with them but isn't those my backing curtain rods is it again and nearly buy scissor is it nearly buy is in Billy. Lafu ni kakata, ndo ni kaunganisha kwa ile kata ndo diko huko kwa sitting room. Yeah, so there. And then hapa hivi stafungua, kuna a lot of chaos in there, guys. And then I have this black rug that imeja na tu vitu, tu vitu zimenishinda kutoa. Nilipileka kawashwa, kasema they don't wash this kind of rugs because wajugu leo tatua hizo vitu. So ni karudisha, nkafagia fagia, ikabaki hivo, ndio hii hapa, but nitajua tu what to do with this rug, but I might be splitting it up to do other things with it. So standing here, this is how the room the room looks like. You see, this is how the guest room looks like. And I'm just showing you so that you see it from all corners because the next time you see this bedroom, it won't be looking like this. You see how messy it is? The makeover starts today. I'm just showing you so that you see. And then this one, because it's a washroom, you know why it was Because the sink was not going water was not draining so wakakuja kutoa wakachimbua details wakaeka tiles mpya wakafanya abc ni nanini so i've not even cleaned this bathroom cause na ngoja kuja umalize so unaona pale wamefungua pale wamefungua hapa hivi ndo wametoa hiyo sink so i will wait for the guy to come and rudisha and then i can clean up cause angalia vumbi nilikuwa nime clean hiyo siku before kuje but hiyo kuchimbua smithy tiles nini ndio hiyo kakuwa hivyo ndio hizi tiles ameka is the white ones actually isn't omega but yeah that's the guest bathroom is looking like and these are the sinks sorry focus so these are the sinks as nafaz rudin dani but you know i want to wait for this guy to start the makeover the makeover i'm just gonna start the makeover today so this is how the guest is looking like and we are yet to start the makeover so let me take you through what i want to do for this guest bedroom guys welcome back to my channel my name is Esparin Shapirita aka Amy Sweet. so guys by now you have already seen how my guest bedroom is looking like Madhogosh yani it's just like the store of the house you know I actually didn't open up the closet because I knew if I open that closet oh my goodness you guys will be running you know literal running like the Kipchoge run why am I saying this guys like I've been using that bedroom for the longest time possible as a storage wherever as a store if you wish but i think it's time to stop that because today the makeover for that room begins so to let you in on the process that i'm gonna approach the master bedroom is one you see like the nini the the failed malengi couch that i have in my living room is gonna go in there so i'm taking the kamalionda the malengi couch <laughs> i'm taking the malengi couch into that room because i believe i think it's supposed to go there and i'm just keeping it because i know 
I want to look at it and remember like how far I've come and let the things, the DIYs that I do and fail, I want to keep them too. So I'm going to take that Kamaleonda wherever to that room. So I'm going to have it at the corner. I'm going to make a, a big art that I'm going to have on the other wall so that the art goes on top there. looks amazing, the Kamaleonda. And then I'm going to take in a rug. I'm thinking of taking the rug that I have in the living room to that room because the black one that is there, it has tiny, tiny things that actually I um in a, any I'm unable to get them off the carpet like the Mishika, you know, that's the problem with the fluffy. Yeah, the problem with the fluffy carpets. Cause I, I and now I'm thinking in this house or in my entire life, I'm not buying any shaggy carpet or shaggy rug. I'm not buying a fluffy or shaggy I mini mean, or, or carpet or rug. Cause if you look at them guys, like they tend to attract a lot of things that's in a katalia. I'm telling you I took that carpet, the black one, to a car wash here. Wakanga lewa nabi, ay madam, this one we can't wash because utakuje useme o, zizi uchakwa zi jatoka because we are not, we are unable kutua hizo tumestik kwa yo, nini, kwa hizo fa. So, that, those two carpets, I'm never buying them in this house. I'm just buying fashion rugs only. So, I'm bringing the other, the fashion rugs that I have in the living room to the nini, to the bedroom, but I will have to take it to the car wash first so that they wash it, it becomes clean for you to go in that room. Apart from the rug and the chameleon that I'm taking to that room, guys, I'm supposed to buy a, a chair, that is the office chair, because that table, I'm thinking I'm going to use that table for the longest time possible. It doesn't have any other ish, -ish thing. I think it's comfortable, the height is good, because that was my previous dining table in my previous house, not previous house, the other one before the previous house. So... I'm going to retain the table, but I will have to get in an office chair. And I'm thinking to put the office in the farthest corner, this other corner. Okay. Uh, just the corner near to the washroom. Because I find like this, that space there that just looks like office, office. And then on the other side, I will have the Kamaleona art go on the wall. And then I've been thinking of doing a DIY light fixture for that room. But I'm still trying to figure out which kind of light fixture can I put in that room. Because all the light fixtures that I've been seeing that are the IY uh, I don't think they will do good in that room. So I don't know if I should just like go ahead and buy a light fixture for that room. I'm still contemplating. But I'm not going to put in a light fixture that looks like this one. I think for that one, I need to put in a, a more formal-ish light fixture. So I'll just like scout through and see which one. And especially now that I'm just close to House of Tata, it's easier. For me to just like pop by go see what they have and then come back with something so apart from the light fixture that goes into the guest room i'm also looking at painting the walls i'm looking at having one ascent wall that i'm not gonna paint black in that room but i'm thinking of sage green i, I know you guys know sage green right i'm gonna paint sage green on one of the walls but i just don't know which one and then on the wall that will have my office chair on or the side that the office chair will be facing, I'm looking at having like the circle, circle colored. So I'm looking at sage and another brownish, brownish color. I can't tell. It's not brown, 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 but lighter shade of brown. It's between brown and orange to go with the sage so that the office space can look like it's, yes, formal, but it's also a home. I don't know if you understand. So I'm going for that look for the master bedroom. And what else have I not told you about? So I've talked about the rug. I'm bringing one, the rug that I have in the living room because I will have bought the, the rug for the living room and the dining area. And I'm bringing in the Kamadionda. I'm also bringing in an office chair, the table I'm retaining. But I have to buy, you know, guys, that thing is that holds a laptop because the table, I realize when you sit, you are like this. So I want to raise the laptop a little bit so that, you know, the positions that you need to need to sit in when you're using a laptop or, or, you, or you're, when you're working on a PC. That same position I want to emulate in that bedroom. So I'm going to bring in the stand, the laptop stand. I think I've seen one on Jumia that is going for 2500 So I think that is what I will order for myself. Apart from that, guys, I've talked about the light fixture. I'm still trying to figure out, but I will pop by House of Tata to see what they have in store for me. Also, apart from that, guys, for the, the bathroom, in the guest room, I don't think there's much to do there. I just know I have to replace the curtain, the towel holder, sorry, towel holder, because it looks like if you, if you add two towels there, it's going down. Like, 
imebend. Gile, the chuma that is holding it in place is actually weak because you can actually push it up and down. Like, it's not supposed to be like that, you know. So I'm looking at changing or replacing the towel holder. And then something else that I need to add in that nini bathroom is what? Oh, I need to nini to add the soap. Uh, soap, especially shower, because guys, you know this bath soaps. Somebody takes a shower in a bakisha manuele. You don't know it's manuele. It's a wapi. It's a disgust, you know. So I want to add in shower gel. So I'm going to buy a container for just, for shower gel because that will, that will be easier. Also, apart from the shower gel, what else? Oh, because for those who want to wash the hair, I will add in shampoo. I will add a shower, no, hair conditioner. And I can also just add in hair treatment because you never know. I might host my female friends. They want to wash their hair. They need treatment, right? So those three things I will add. And I will also add in shelves so that I can add a, a few pieces of towel. Apart from the just a towel that you wrap around, I will add a face towel, hand towel. I also need to add a towel that you can wrap around your head if you're a girl or a woman. So those are the kind of things that I need to add in there to make the room go. And then apart from that, guys, I have to add in decor, you know. So for the decor, I'm thinking for that room, I'm not going to add a lot of decor or I'm going to add the lighter decors, like not heavy, heavy, lighter pieces of decor because that is not my room. I can't be able to control like the movement or anything that somebody does in there because if I, I I make it as a guest, it's actually a guest. So lighter decors and just a few pieces of decor, not much. And then for the mirror that is in the that is in the closet area, I also want to facelift it. So I might be going in with mirror tiles to just go around it to make it look amazing. And then the one in the washroom, I have to clean it thoroughly because I realized it has some black, whatever, I think it's paint, it's flat or something. I don't know what happened there. I'm hoping it's not like the mirror is crushed because when I looked at it, it looked like it has like some black things going on. So I will see uh, if I can clean that. If I can't, I will have to figure out how to bring in another mirror because I don't want my guests when I get up or they don't have mirror. Eh? And then I also have to go ahead and buy uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste for them so that like I can just have that go in there. So with the toothbrush, if I'm hosting, I just know I have to replace the one that was there, throw away, bring in a new one, you know, for the person that will be in there. Apart from that, I think I will add in a plant because who doesn't like some greenery in a room? For me, I like to add in a plant. I just don't know which plant to add in there that is guest friendly because, you know, a plant that I might like, somebody else won't like, right? But again, this is my house, right? But even if it's my house, I just want to add something that everybody can love. You understand? So apart from that, what else do I need to add into that guest room to make it welcoming? I'm adding in an art abstract of course you know me <laughs> i'm also adding a flower a plant not flowers but i will add artificial flowers just I, I i'm still figuring out where should i add those artificial flowers plant art camaleonda i'm adding in a light fixture i'm bringing in the rug i'm painting the walls mm, what else i think i'm gonna bring in a floor lamp and then remove the night, the, the lampshade, or the lampshade can actually move. I will actually go ahead and see if I can DIY a nightstand, just a, a normal, a beautiful modern basic, modern basic, like it's a basic one, but it's modern, look and feel, nightstand, just one, to put it there and then put that lampshade over it, and then I can have a floor lamp that will come over my office desk so that office i will actually be working there if i'm working from home or i have projects or something i'm editing my blogs i edit from there right but when my guest comes over they want to work from home or they have projects that they are working for i'll just let them use the office you see it won't be for me alone apart from that guys what else do i want to bring into that room i'm thinking i'm thinking is this idea i had seen on pinterest about office spaces i'm actually thinking if i should bring it there on one wall i do like a library wall you understand where i bring whereby i bring like all the books i have i just place them there and then so so that it looks amazing but apart from just looking amazing it will also be functional because i will also add in 
faces. Guys, if you, I know this I've not mentioned anywhere, but in the near future, I might be having a wall of verses and bulbs. Yeah, because for now, I have like how many kind of bulbs in the house? Because I'm actually, I want to start collecting bulbs, like for real, for real, different kind of bulbs I want to start collecting. Like, huh? The way I admire, I, there's another Pinterest spot that I saw of a lady that's, that was collecting balls. I was just like, this is what I want. From that day, I just fell in love with balls. Different shapes, different sizes, different colors, everything. I just want to have a wall of balls. When I move to my next house, not now, obviously, but I will start collecting, but I will put them in my kitchen. But when I move to that house, in my office space i'm gonna have a wall of balls i'm gonna have shelf 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 balls deco balls like i will have those balls as deco pieces and a little bit of green plants and everything and i'm telling you that wall was amazing the wall was amazing hallelujah i would like that for my space i would have done that for that room but i realize i'm already putting in so much in that room that i don't want like to add in so many things so that it doesn't look like a bedroom as per se because if I move like maybe to a three bedroom, I can have one bedroom that is office, and then I can have one wall that is just like balls over balls over balls, you know. But for now, because that room I'm using it as office and guest bedroom, I don't want to have a lot going on in there so that the guests feel like, ay, this is too much, you know. I don't want them to feel like that. But yeah, so guys, that is everything I want to do for my guest bedroom and guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down in the comment section tell me what you think about the guest room because you guys are not ready for what is coming you are not ready i just say that you're not ready so as i go ahead and do the makeover before i show you or reveal to you like this video subscribe if you have not subscribed follow me on instagram if you are not following me just test underscore 254 you just see my face <laughs> Yes, you'll see my face and you'll follow me, right? And then, guys, thank you so much for clicking to watch my videos. Thank you for the love that you've been showing me in the last few months. And I just, I'm just like, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Because if it's not you, I won't have this energy to just come here, shoot a vlog for you guys. It won't be possible, right? So, thank you so much, guys. I'm signing out from this one. For me, this is peace. And I'm out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Do it right.